Hmm, what's this? Hello, welcome back to The Freak Show. Bumpy McSquiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I continue with my Let's Play of Battle Brothers. Yay! Oh, 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 oh. I, I, I've got nothing, guys and gals. I've literally got nothing. That being said, I'm not sure what we should be doing right now. I'm not sure. I I guess there was some stuff to check here, maybe? So let's check. Uh, man approaches. Uh, all right. Let's know if we'll talk to the leader of a Duelman. I'm all ears. Am I all ears? Am I? I think I am. Alright, Wenzel the Elder is reading one of many scrolls. He angrily tosses it into or onto a pile of others. Huh. The people of Duelman are rightfully furious. Do you know a brigand, possibly in league with other vagabonds, managed to steal my ceremonial staff from us? That artifact is of immeasurable value to me and to the people, of course. You shrug, and you want me to get it back for you. The man points a finger. Precisely. All right. Let's talk pay. Well, eh, I want to be paid more. We need to be paid more. Oh, don't push me too far. I'll accept your offer, but I need time to think about it. Oh, gosh. All right, he's looking out a window. Brigands have been taken off with precious livestock. Uh, they come in the night, the brigands I mean, and cut the bells to make off quiet like. I'm sure livestock aren't important to you, but one calf, one cow, one bull. That's a fortune to some people around these parts, so... The other day I had a lad follow the animal tracks out of town, and now he's told me exactly where those brigands are. As far as I'm concerned, you must slay them all and end their existence. No, um... As I'm sure you can guess, I don't have the men to spare to take these vagabonds on. What is it? I'll accept your offer, but I'll need some time to think about it. I don't think we can do either one of those things. Um, mm, 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 mm. I mean, our crew is okay-ish. How banged up is our equipment? So I'm sure a few folks are still suffering a few slings and or arrows. Ah, maybe we'll just redo the same mission we just basically did last time. We'll accept this one. We'll give it a shot. I mean, if we get lucky again, it's going to pay decently, but uh, you never know. Please tell me he's not going to just go out into the... Oh, he's not. He's just on the very edge. There's nine of them this time. That's less good. Ah, the thieves are quite human. They're ready to kill us. Two arms! A few poachers and thugs. This is actually better for us. The reason being, there's less of a chance of just murder, death, death, murder, murder, death. And more of a chance of awesome! Only slightly, though. However, those guys are going to be somewhat problematic. Alright, I guess we'll skip our turn to start with... Backing out doesn't seem to be, like, a terrible choice at this point. Alright, we're gonna wait it out, though. Come forward, fo Oh, you guys are gonna defend your archers. Well, I like this more and more, actually. Let's go here and see if you decide to roll out on us. Come forth and prepare. Aw, oh, your little spear wall that's so cute and adorable. It's not really cute and adorable, but I'm just saying that for, like, um... Shock value, I, I guess. Aha! I had the high ground. You will never stop me. Oh, you think not, huh? Oh, I didn't want to go that far. My bad. Oh, well. We're here now. 18%. We hit somebody. I'll take it. All right, what do we have? A 17%. Let's do it again. Hey, we even hit the guy we were aiming for. That's a pretty big win for us. Alright, we have you, Antros, the secret agent, I guess you could call him something. Secret agent would work. And we'll see what we can make happen with our crew. Not a whole lot right now. Should be able to get you to come down a little bit, you to get down here too. That's okay-ish. Alright, 
The moves are real. People are having bad days. We murdered somebody straight up. That's a pretty good sign. Pretty good start, I dare say. They're meeting us halfway. This is this isn't a bad uh, strategy, to be honest. I think we're gonna probably end up scooting up. So I'm actually okay with this. I don't like that though. That I am not a massive fan of. Slice him! We missed. That's bad. Alright, what do we have? 36%. Boom! Nailed it! I guess 44%. Bam! Just doing work like a freaking crazy person. Alright. Speaking of freaking crazy persons, let's do that and that. Purcell's in a eh, position. It's not that bad. We're going to wait with you. I think I'm going to make the move to meet you here. Alright, that's that's interesting. I don't, I don't hate that. I don't absolutely hate it anyway. Go there. Stepped up and ready to go. Ooh, okay. Um, yeah. Oh, oh, whoops. Totally forgot that guy was there. Also, I never liked that hat anyway. And he doesn't like his face very much anymore, so there's that. They're all freaked out now. They're like, holy cow, that guy just done got killed. Not a fan, as you shouldn't be. Alright, we can reload and we can take a shot. 30% chance we almost murdered our own person. Not great. Let's take a stab onto you. Going to probably just go straight in like this and bonk. Gonna move here. Javelin going. 30%. We missed. Of course we did. The stab is real, but it also really, 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 really missed. He's having a bad day. 17%. Eh. 21%. Oop. Missed. We stab. We stab. We attack A. We attack A again A. Double stab. Very little damage to our overall arm. Wow, he just walked away from us. He didn't. Nor did he. All right, that's pretty much everybody freaked out now, ready to die. Come over here. We missed. Guess we'll scoot a little tiny bit closer. A bonk and another bonk. He is pretty much on his back foot at this point. Not dead yet, but close. And our crew be doing things that no crew should do. All right, 49% Entros. Oh my god, you're the worst. It's fine. He's allowed to be the worst, I guess. Stabby miss. Stabby block. Eh. There we go. Headed to death. That's right. Headed to death. Or beheaded to death. What? No, it's, it's fine. He's totally fine. All right, well, we have now freaked him out enough that he doesn't know what to do with himself. Oh, no. No. Nope. All right, here we go. We're not going to miss the 67%. Yay, Antros did something after doing nothing the entire time. Woo! It's good. All right, Dawn of Gaming. Let's see, who was the MVP this time around? We're looking at 126, 127, 144. 146. It was Blah, the Barbarian. Of doom! It's fine. Alright, cool. And we got ourselves... Eh, some some equipment. It's not the greatest. It's not the worst. And we did it. You clean the blood off your sword and then go to retrieve the item. As you bend over to pick it up, you spot a man watching you in the distance. He comes forth, his two hands... Totemed? Okay. Totemed together with long sleeves. I see you've killed my benefactor's men. Sheathing your sword, you nod at the man. He continues. My benefactor paid good money for that artifact. It appears those he paid are no longer owed. So maybe I can speak directly to you. 
I will give you 840 crowns for the item. That is really good. That is a good amount of money. Wenzel the Elder, however, will not be happy if you decide to accept. I know a good deal when I see one. Hand over the money. Sorry, we're paid to return it, and that's what we're going to do. That's right, honor amongst thieves, or whatever we are. He should pay us more because we're awesome. Like, seriously, he should. Okay, so we did manage to do that. Um, money is money, I guess. Um, do that. I think I'm going to get rid of this. Uh, padded surcoat. Probably better than what he's using right now. You have that. I guess we can put this on you. Instead... And what do we have? This is 65. The Gambeson is going to be better than pretty much all the other stuff that we have. Let's give uh, Trenton the uh, upgrade there. And I guess we'll go with Dawn of Gaming getting... Oh, never mind. He's already got that. Well, he's fine then, isn't he? Oh, a padded surcoat. Hmm. Yeah, Blah did some work. Let's give him this. And while you may want to look cool with your old, your whole Robin Hood getup, I think it's time that we traded some of that out. Alright, we'll sell all this stuff. Hopefully we're okay. We have a decent amount of money, and we have a decent amount of ammunition. Alright, uh, two dogs, each one passed out on top of the other. Weird. Uh, these beasts could rip my throat out, yet look at them. How does this happen? I didn't even train them. Someone else did. I'm a stranger to them, yet here they are. You place the artifact on the man's table and slide it across. He leans forward, takes it, and then places it under his desk. When his hand returns, he's got a satchel in hand. He tosses it over. As promised, good work, sellsword. Thank you. Thank you very much. Alright, well, that's great. I don't believe we can do the follow-up to that. Uh, the, the tools are so expensive, too. We cannot afford them. We cannot afford them right now. We do need to leave this place, though. I think we've done enough here. Alright, so Dulman work. Let's go back to um, Meyer Week. Meyer Week. And see what we can get done with that. We have 1,400 monies. We're probably about ready to grab another person or another piece of gear at some point. But I think we're going to get some food and some tools first. I think that's going to be the play. And then soon we'll, we'll upgrade to the next tier. Or upgrade to the next... Oh, what's this? A rated. Huh. Nice. Uh, disappearing villagers. So they're having all sorts of bad times. Like, really bad. Oh my gosh. Yeah, they are. Oh, everything's so expensive. Let's see if we can't help these guys out. Uh, you enter the tavern. You're that mercenary people have been wondering about. The eyes, that's where I can see it. You're a man who hunts a most dangerous sort of prey. A life of taking lives is a world in and of itself. Would you seek out those whose lives have gained such odd values that their death would be but a monetary appreciation for others? They purchase his place, so thus you become the means to a transaction. It is so, isn't it? You're a bone collector, my friend. A grave digger paid in advance. Eh, you nod, understanding. Suddenly a man comes up to you and explains that a local figurehead by the name of Ivan wishes to have your ear. Ivan? Oh, he's so wizard-like. That's weird. Creepy and awesome all at the same time. I like what that's showing us. You know, that would be kind of... That would be kind of a cool way for them to go with DLC and adding to this game. Is adding, like, magic into the world or, or um, like, mounted units. or You know, there's a lot of stuff that was suggested that they didn't want to add in. But that could all be very viable things for future DLC. So, kudos to them for sticking to their guns. I like that. Good tidings, Captain. What say you take a leave from all that killing and dying? Uh, I figured you'd jump in on that opportunity. No matter, it was uh, a lie. I need you to take a certain package to Anton. Sure. Stock money. Um, I want to be paid more for this. Ah, eh, whatever. Fine. You guys need to, to, to work with me a bit more. Alright, we need to go back to Tanheim, which is right there. 
All right, we are on our way, hopefully, without any problems. I feel like we're going like the really, really, really wrong way to get there, but that's fine. We could probably stop at a Jader Wall. Raid the caravan. That's another thing they could add. Oh, everything's closed. We just missed it. Back up to Tanheim. Go. Do 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 do. Sorry. Scary stuff is scary. Eh, no. Maybe. Maybe with the, uh, the Dulman Company. Yeah, we're gonna engage with them, help them out, hopefully this builds some rapport with us. And if we can snag a kill or two, we might even get some loot and experience for free. There's no guarantee of this, though. Also, we're in a really weird spot. Probably gonna take us quite a while. I mean, we we drastically outnumber them. Like they stand no chance. We shall make a name for. Oh, good, we found somebody. Cool. We shall make a name for ourselves. A name will be Fuzzy Pants. Captain Fuzzy Pants. That's right, that is what I will be known as forever. No, it's not true. All right, no, 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 don't go up there. Oh, he looks so cool with his little military pick. Look at that thing. That dude's cray cray. I want to hang out with him. He's so cool. All right, it's fine. All right, so there's going to be a lot of movement, a lot of craziness. If we get lucky, we can land like a kill blow. That's going to really give us a boon. If not, maybe we can just pilfer some of the loot at the end of it. Either way, it's not the worst idea to be doing what we're doing. <laughs> Gotta love the music, guys and girls. Everything is so well done. I love it. Music. I even like the graphical arts. Like, it's cool. I, I saw some of the early mock-ups where they actually had the full body, and I was like, Oh my god! That's... I, I liked it. I thought it was cool, but I, I like this better. Like, this works better, but oh man, it was it was humorous for me to see that after having played for so many years, you know, or for so long this way. This has been just over a year. Ah, get to where I want you to go. Yes, Antros, get closer. <gasps> Kill that guy, I want to steal his, his arbalest. We're coming with our pitchforks, man. We're on our way. We can do this. We have the means. Ooh, I want that weapon, too. I want... Ooh, oh, he's coming back. He's like, yeah, we can totally take these scrubs coming up here to help. At least we take one down. Oh, dang. I think he just lost an ear. That was unpleasant for him. We're totally fine with that situation. We will not only chop down trees, but we will chop down our foes. <laughs> it's true, we will. We will chop down our foes. It's gonna be glorious. Oh, there's doggies somewhere. Yeah, I don't think you're getting through that heavy chain, buddy. They're trying. Look at this poor guy. I almost feel bad for the thugs. I'm gonna wait. Oh. I want that dude. Like, badly. I really want to kill that guy. That didn't work. That didn't work either. Boy, oh boy. Ooh, that looked painful and unsatisfying. Can we do it again? Uh, I guess I'll have you wait. Yeah, I figured that was going to be how this went. 
Aha, we're here. Oh boy, he did. He's definitely not digging. Oh, he killed the doggy. No, that's not. Oh, oh dang. These guys are getting annihilated, just like absolutely destroyed. It's really going to come down to our ranged units here, I think. 42. Oh, we hit him. Oh, we did so good. 22, 26. We miss both. It's fine. Ish. I, I, I don't even know what he can do. He's just going to, I'll go off into the forest, guys. It's fine. Oh, come on. Tell, tell me we can do this again. Oh, we did it. We did it. Yes. Ah, so good. That's not, that's less good. He could end us. Like, seriously. He could literally end us unless they just like freak out like crazy, which is what I'm hoping happens. Oh, Arbalester, please don't hurt me. Okay. I'll take it. Oh boy. Oh, and he missed everybody. Yes! 35%. Don't shoot your own guy. Oh, it's so scary. You guys stay away from my people. This is mine. My house. Oh, we got another one! Danger zone, as Mutanot would say. There's one that remains. I have no idea where he's at either. Oh, it's so good. Oh, it's so good. Well, apparently he's over this way somewhere. Oh, oh, he's right there. Oh, duh. Sorry. I'm apparently blind. It's fine. Alright. So, 26 across the board, except for Iron Cowboy and Antros. Getting a 56 and a 68. And, yeah, we have a couple folks that need to actually level up. I, I know, guys. I've been, I've been bad about that. But, boom! A hooked blade. We got a little bit of tool action going on there. And a blotched Gambeson. What? Good stuff all around. Some more food to feed our faces, which is good because we're getting really light on food. We got some medical supplies. It's it's good. This was this was a good uh, endeavor. This was a wise choice. I think we probably could have won that by ourselves, but it would have been questionable, for lack of a better term. All right, let's go take a look. Blah is loving life. He's digging. He's like, yep, I'm the man, the myth, the legend. So we got 30 to 50, 30 and 75. 40 to 70, 30 and 110. Plus 5% to hit head. Plus 5% to hit head, range of 2 and 14. So literally better in all ways, except this is hooked. So this is going to be a way to pull people in as opposed to shove them away. I believe. We'll take it. We will take it. Alright, we'll continue on to Tanheim now. Because, well, we've earned our, our path to this place. Oh, that worked out so well. Alright, well, I'll say before we do this... Oh, I did not think you would get here. Of course I'd get here. Have you met me? Have you met me? I get stuff handled. I get stuff done. Let's go talk with our... Or let's go level up Kenny the Voodoo. Alright, so everybody's been whining and complaining and telling me how great crippling strikes are. I'll give it a shot with one of my characters. I feel like it's kind of meh. But everybody's like, it's the greatest thing ever. So we'll see. We'll see. Like I said, I've read through most of these. Again, I haven't read through all of them. So some of them have changed. And that's fine. But. Like Executioner changed. See, this is not the same. But I believe if you go with Crippling. And. You go with Executioner. I think that is the way you need to go for like maximum damage. I still am going to say that Fast Adaptation is the best skill in the game. People will disagree. That's totally fine. That's kind of why this game's so amazing. There's so many different ways to play. So many different 
uh, perks, and it just, whatever your play style is, you just go that route, and you know, I, I can't say you can't go wrong, because I'm sure you can, but, yeah, you know, you got some wiggle room. You can play, and you can succeed in some ways where people will be like, oh, I can't do it, it's terrible, and then they're going to be like, oh, this is a much better way to play. You try it, you're not going to be able to succeed. So we're going to give it a shot. Um, let's see. Where do we get the chance to hit the head thing? Because that's another one of those skills that are quite good. Um, dodge. Is that further down? Is that like here? Yeah, that's down here. Alright, I... Eh... Alright, that's fine. We're gonna go with Crippling Strikes again. Like I said, I'll give it a fair shot, guys and gals. A lot of people have said it. I don't usually do it. We'll give it a shot. We'll see. Maybe it's amazing. Maybe I've been totally wrong all this time. Good, we had somebody who actually got decent level up stuff over here. And yeah, we're gonna give him a little bit more resolve. Make him a bit more manly in combat. Which is fine. And good. Oh yeah, we have the Blotched Gambison, don't we? Let's go throw that on somebody. Let's go throw that on you, Dawn of Gaming. And Bla the or Stoichiometry the Magician. Well, I would say Bla the Barbarian's clone. But no, you you are Stoichiometry the Magician. Alright, good. That's good. I like that. Alright, what do we have for prices? Awful, awful, awful prices. However, really decent ammunition price. I'm gonna buy that. Oh, there's another longbow. Hunting bow rather. Eh, it's, it's a decent price. It's a decent price. We need to buy some food, though. I'm gonna leave. There's nothing to do here. We do have the Fletcher still. Oh, look at that. That's the dream right there. The Warbow. <gasps> and the Heavy Crossbow. I haven't seen either of those yet. Like, I haven't actually got to use either one. Pretty excited to check them out. Mm. I know I could technically get some more Javelins. To give Ancho so he can swap, so he can waste more ammunition for us, but eh, it just seems bad. So I'm not going to do that. Um, tempted to buy another hunting bow, but I'd do it from the other screen. I'm gonna get rid of the short bows. I don't think we're gonna have a need for those. I'm gonna keep this, I'm gonna keep that. Get rid of the stupid hat. Yeah, I think we're... Uh, well, it's okay. Alright, unfortunately there was no... Like I said, there was nothing. Let's see, who can we hire? We can hire a woodsman. He's a lumberjack. Another lumberjack. Or we can get the, the bowyer. Which comes with a longbow, ironically enough. It's going to be expensive to do. Mm, I'm going to do it. Got freed to the chicken. Oh, uh, that makes me nervous, though. Does that mean he's gonna be a coward? And he's just... Oh, it's so expensive. I'm doing it. I took the plunge. I took the plunge. We're gonna name him. We're gonna name him... Zach? Zach? I don't know how you do the Zach, but it's fine. Stringer. The Stringer. What's it called? The Stringer. I don't know what a Stringer is, but... That's what it is. D. Zach the Stringer. There we go. He is there. He is ready. He is hatless. And he has a work apron. Well, we're going to give him something better than a work apron. A thick tunic. And yeah, there we go. That's our, our backline archer type people. We have one more individual to go. And I think uh, the person will be pretty happy with who is joining. So it's going to be good. Uh, we do need another mission, though. So now we're broke again. Not horribly broke. Like, this is kind of how you want to do it. This is how you... No, kidding. kidding. Uh, let's go... Let's go to Trogan. It's been a while since we've been up there. Who knows? Maybe we'll find some more battles along the way. But you know what? That's going to be a tale for another time, I would say. I was about to break it off before we went into town, and we still need to get tools pretty desperately. But... We're going to break it off here, and in the next episode we will continue our adventures and hopefully find something to do. Maybe we'll go to the Backstabbers hideout and try to fight one of those. I mean, there's options. We do have options available to us, so that's always good. 
All right, folks, that's good for this episode. I'll see you tomorrow, or possibly today. I don't know. Anyway, for the next episode of Battle Brothers. Until then, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you so much for stopping by the Freak Show, and I will see you later.